What is your unforgettable experience as a student? Memories could be a great event of your life that if there's a chance, so just to go back, or it could be just like a ghost memory that you want to escape from. But whether it is a good or bad events of your life, I know that it can create a great impact or contribution to your future. Reality became true, but this based on what you see, what you hear, what you feel, and what you experience. And these are your proofs for us to have a meaningful life and established future. In this lesson, you will learn to express a reality-based concept featuring its distinctive principles, elements, techniques, and devices. As an intelligent FCPCN, you need to demonstrate confidence in the use of the language to meet everyday's needs and read independently and get relevant information from various text types. And at the end of today's lesson, you are expected to analyze the principles, elements, techniques, and devices of creative nonfiction text, demonstrate creativity in turning real-life events to a short narrative, and devise a real-life narrative exhibiting plot, characters, characterization, point of view, angle, setting, and atmosphere, symbols, and symbolism. Today, we are going to talk about principles, elements, techniques, and devices of creative nonfiction. First, let us define what is creative nonfiction. Creative nonfiction is a genre of writing that uses literary styles and techniques to create factually accurate narratives. Creative nonfiction must be based on facts and true stories. It, it needs to be verifiable by others as well. Creative nonfiction writing can embody both personal and um, public history. It is a form that utilizes memory, experience, observation, opinion, and all kinds of research. Sometimes the form can do all of the above at the same time. Other times, it is more selective. It, it, it can also be called as uh, literary nonfiction, narrative nonfiction, literary journalism, imaginative nonfiction, lyric essay, personal essay, personal narrative, or literary memoir. So these are the principles that we need to consider in writing creative nonfiction. The first one would be the point of view. So the point of view determines how the story will be told or narrated. The next one would be the characterization. So character signifies human experience portraying a role in a story. So you can ask yourself, who will be the characters in your story or what are their role in that story? The next one will be the plot. So the plot is a sequencing of the events from the beginning up until the end of the story. So how will you start the story? How will you, how will you introduce the character? So what would be the, the arc or the storyline that we produce in this story? So plot has its parts, just like what we discussed during the creative writing days. So the first one or the first part will be the exposition or the introduction part of the story. It introduces the character, situation, and usually the time and the place of the narrative or the setting of the story. After that will be the rising action to introduce the complication or conflicts that are either external or internal. And upon knowing the rising action would be um, the part that we could also know the conflict of the story. So when we say conflict, it is an event, a situation, or circumstance that shakes or it, it'll make the story unstable. Okay? It is a struggle between two opposing forces. So a conflict could either be an internal conflict or external, external conflict. So an internal conflict arises within the character himself. So the best example would be a conflict which is a character against himself or the man against himself. So it involves a character trying to overcome his or her own nature, okay, or make choice between two or more paths. Then we have the external conflict. So it is a conflict arises between the character and the outside force. So it could be a character against nature or a man against nature. 
or it could be a man against man or character against character or character versus character and I also have a man against society or character versus society and a lot more now we also have the character versus technology and the likes after knowing the conflict will be the climax and then the falling action so the climax it is the central moment of the crisis and um, the point of greatest tension which initiates the falling action of the story so when you say the falling action that is the untying of the knot that's the event that will happen right after the climax or right after the central moment of that story after that would be the resolution or the denouement it refers to the untying of the knot or it could be the the ending of the story a moment of insight discovery or revelation but which character's life or view of life is greatly altered so a denouma or an ending could be a closed denouma or an, an open denouma so when we say closed denouma ties up everything neatly and explain all unanswered questions okay and also we have the open denouma that leaves the readers with a few thought-provoking loose ends so which type of denouma or ending you would you prefer would that be the closed denouma or the open denouma? all right and then Let's also talk about the conflict. So we're done with the plot. Now let's proceed to the conflict. Again, just like what we mentioned a while back, conflict is a primary problem the characters facing in the story. It can be categorized as man versus man, man versus self, man versus society, man versus machine or technology, man versus nature, or man versus supernatural. So done with knowing um knowing those uh, principles when it comes to writing creative nonfiction, now let's proceed to the, to its elements so the first one or elements or these are the, the things that could help us uh, in writing creative nonfiction. first one would be facts facts extensive research so extensive research might be a primary research or a secondary research. So when you say primary research, these are the interviews or the personal experience that you have. And then we have the secondary research, such as the gathering of information from books, magazine, or any other newspapers. And then we have the reportage or reporting. It's all about documenting events or personal experiences. After that, we have the personal ex experience and personal opinion. But you need to make it sure that you're going to give an intelligent opinion you know, about certain things. Explanation or exposition. An essay okay, or an essay format could do. After the elements, let's have the techniques. So if you want to hook your audience, here are the five creative nonfiction writing tips that you could consider. First, you need to tell a memorable story. Also, you need to put some bait towards your audience. You could also use emotional language, but make it sure that the truth must not be compromised. Okay, and next one, you could also say it simply. And lastly, surprise the reader by simply putting some sort of twists. No? After that will be the literary devices that we could use. No? So just like with creative writing, we are also utilizing same no, literary devices. First one will be the setting. It is the when and where of the story. So when we say where, that's the geography or the physical place. And when, that's the time, the day, the time in the history. And also we have the weather and the climate that would also define the atmosphere or the mood of the story. Then the atmosphere is created and conveyed by the words used to describe the setting. So it will also be reflected in the way the characters speak. Afterwards, we have the conflict or the problem. Same definition that we have. It's just basically a struggle between two opposing forces or problem. Okay, between two opposing forces. So a conflict or a problem would be a personal conflict between two or more people. It could be a decision to be made, a personal issue just like group or feeling isolated, a social problem, a problematic cultural trend just like racism, 
and an institutional problem just like healthcare or college tuition. And of course, we have a health or mental health concern. Also, we could also we could include the dialogue in our creative nonfiction writing. Um, I know for sure that you know that the dialogue refers to the words spoken by real people in that story or in that in that drama. Imagery. So these are the word pictures using sensory language. So. Um, the imagery would be the mental pictures that we could paint towards the mind of our readers or our viewers. Characterization refers to the participants in the story and usually a person, but maybe a persona, identity, entity whose, exist whose existence originates from another fictional work. And it is one of the five elements of fiction along with the plot, setting, theme, and writing style. But here in creative nonfiction, we need to make it sure that the characters we are including in our story would be a character that could be verifiable or could be observed around us. And then the symbols or the symbolism. Symbol is an object or, or even an animal that represents an abstract value or, a, or an entity. And symbolism, that is the practice or the art of using those objects to represent an abstract idea. So that's it. Thank you for today.